What's the problem? You've been waiting your entire life for this moment. This golden opportunity. This rare occasion. This chance to do what so many other people don't get to do. What they don't get to accomplish. What they don't get to experience. What they can only imagine. But you're here. You've made it to this point. You've arrived at this pinnacle place in your life. It would be a shame to mess it up. A shame to miss this chance. All because you allowed fear to trump faith. Time waits for no man. Once it's gone, it's gone. It doesn't roll over. Time goes forward. Time never goes backward. The time is now. There has never been a more promising time to achieve greatness. I heard someone once say that greatness is within you, but it's dormant, it's bottled up, just waiting for the moment to unleash and show the world how great you really are. How talented you can be. How amazing your skills are. Not sure if you know or not, but there are hundreds. No, scratch that. Thousands. Uh, let me try again. Millions of people that would kill to be in your shoes right now. They would give up food, sleep, TV, cell phone, and any other luxury of the world just to be given the opportunity you have right now. But instead of taking advantage of it, instead of capitalizing on it, you're too busy eating, you're too busy sleeping, you're too busy being distracted by what's on television. You're too occupied with what's trending on social media. Every second you're not working, your competitor is. In other words, you don't have time to chill. You don't have time to just hang out. You don't have precious moments to lose. That same billionaire that you idolize has the same 24 hours that you have. Imagine that. The same 86,400 seconds in a day. Do they waste it? You better work your butt off every single second that you have. Or you will find yourself saying, I should have, but it'll be too late. The time would have already passed. Your chance will be lost. Your golden opportunity will fall in someone else's lap. Don't do that to yourself. You've worked too hard up until this point. You put too much blood, too much sweat, too much tears, too many late nights of studying into your craft to ease up now. The time is now. Not only is it important to you, but it's important to your family. It's important to your friends. It's important to every young child that looks at you as a role model. <laughs> and you had no idea you were being watched. There are young kids in your neighborhood that aspire to be like you. They want the opportunities you've been given, but they may be too shy to tell you. And so they watch from a distance. Don't let them down. The time is now. Everyone in your corner is rooting for your success. Everyone in your corner wants to see you shine. Everyone in your corner wants to see you win. Everyone in your corner believes in you. The question is, do you believe in you? 
Are you committed to the process? Are you built for this life? Are you ready for the tears? The long days of working hard, the sleepless nights of putting in work, the sacrifice of your time to reach a new level. The time is now. The choice is yours. Don't wait. Don't hold back. Don't be shy. Give it all you got. Give it every ounce of effort you can muster up. Then, and only then, can you be successful. The time is now. Real quickly, real quickly. The first component, the first thing of your A game, the first letter that you've got to get is the attitude. I right, say it with me. You've got to have the right attitude. Listen to me. Your attitude is everything. Your attitude determines every single thing you do in life. Your attitude determines your altitude. You want to go high in life? You've got to have the right attitude. This is what they say in life. They say that they say that life is is just 10%. Listen to me now. 10% of what happens is your life. 90%, the remaining big picture, the remaining 90% is how you respond to that small 10%. So no matter what it is that you go through in life, it's only a small fraction. The big picture, however, is how did you respond to that failure? How did you respond to, to, to that adversity? How did you respond to failing that quiz? How did you respond to not getting that promotion, right? Whatever it is you went through in life, how did you respond? How did you bounce back? So it's all about having the correct attitude anticipation all that really means is listen you're past the point of hoping for success you're past the point of wishing for success anticipation literally means you are expecting to be successful all right when you woke up this morning you expected certain things to happen right am i wrong let me know if i'm wrong when you woke up you anticipated eating some breakfast you anticipated going to school going to work right you anticipated halfway through the day getting some type of lunch, some, some snack. You, you anticipated certain things throughout your day. In other words, you expected them to happen. Listen, in other words, if you didn't get to lunch on time, you felt some type of way, right? If you didn't get to eat at a certain time, you started to get a little angry. Are y'all catching this? So when it comes to your dreams, you've got to be the same way. Expect it to happen so much that if it doesn't happen, you're starting to feel some type of way. If you don't succeed when you're ready to succeed, you and listen, your day is going south, all right? So you've got to anticipate being successful. And don't miss this. You have to have the right attitude. You have to anticipate being successful. But last but not least, you've got to have some action. Listen, I don't care how great your attitude is. I don't care how much you say, Torian, I'm anticipating becoming successful. If you sit on the couch every day, it ain't gonna get there for you. You can't make millions sitting in the bed watching TV all day. You gotta get out the bed. You gotta get off that couch. You gotta put that cell phone down. You gotta go out there and get what belongs to you. Listen to me now, your action is that glue. Everything you've worked so hard for, your action is what's gonna mold it all together. I don't know what area you are in your life. I don't know if you're in school watching this video. I don't know if you're in the office watching this video. I don't know if you're at home. I don't know where you are or what area of life you're focusing on. But whatever fear you have, you have to learn how to face that fear. The best way to overcome it, to look it straight in the face and say, it's my turn to take you down. Now listen to me, as we close it out, as we close it out, don't miss these three points. We're talking about creating challenges. We're talking about challenging yourself. Stop looking for the easy way out. Stop looking for the, 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 the cheat code, the staples easy button, right? Stop looking for the easy way. Challenge yourself. And the three things you gotta do is one, set high, specific, but achievable goals. The second thing is you've gotta learn how to get an early start to your day. And then the last thing, listen, the best way to overcome those fears is to face your fears.